The All Nagaland Ad Hoc Teachers Group 2015 batches indefinite hunger strike entered day three today. The ANATG 15 has been demanding regularization of their service from the state government. ANATG 15 member Pendang Ozigam informed that till date there is no concrete assurances from the government side for regularization of services. He informed that the members will be submitting representation to Chief Minister tomorrow. Ozigam said that a joint meeting between the ANATG 15 and the government on Friday made an agreement to form a high power committee to look into ANATG for regularization of services. However, the members did not accept and agreed upon the deliberations and some core committee members tenders their resignation on moral grounds. After I joined back on uh, the hunger strike, yes, I've been you know, collecting the information of what has gone uh, throughout the day, yesterday. So, yes, the department officials, if I'm not very wrong, then as far as I've been informed, they came on their own uh, individual personal capacity to explain uh, where the crowd has, or where the members uh, has uh, felt short to understand. So I think they came down for just some rectification or you know, uh, trying to explain the exact uh, thing, uh, the purpose of the formation of the HPC. Somehow uh, there are some certain clauses of the HPC uh, which our general members do not agree to. Um, so for instance, like uh, uh, the HPC will take one year's time to examine our case and then, uh, you know, uh, put it before the government. So those are the clauses uh, which, yes, uh, I'm, 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 I'm not, uh, sorry, I did not recollect the exact word uh, in the in the agreement between the government of Nagaland and the representative of Nagji regarding that one year's uh, time. But that is what is written, something of that sort. Yeah, it will take one year's time to examine our study, then, I mean, study our case, then only put forward for regularization. So, you know, uh, uh, without a time-bound uh, agreement, uh, that's where the general members are not willing to agree. Uh, say, for example, that's one of the instances. And also, there are some few instances, uh, but yes, as far as my knowledge is concerned, and due to my absence from the <coughs> meeting yesterday, I won't be able to say much, but I'm very sure that uh, that is one of the uh, such kind of points are, uh, as far as my little knowledge is concerned, and as far as I can uh, understand. I'm sorry if it's interpreted in the wrong way, but uh, I did not see, that is my personal view, I did not see any uh, such kind of assurance. Of course, uh, yes, we do have faith, we do keep faith that uh, once they promise, something could be delivered, but, uh, but nothing of that. You know, sort of pure, uh, concrete assurance as we see. Because we all know how the HPC works, and uh, the, as I say, it's about mainly regarding the uh, consumption of time, which is one year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we are uh, without any solid food. But honestly, I wouldn't lie on this. We are on uh, supply of water, drinking water. We are. We are not getting dehydrated, any of us, uh, so far, uh, since, you know, uh, water does mm -hmm. help us a lot and sometimes, yes, we go for the uh, oral rehydration mm -hmm. solutions at times. So those are the things which are sustaining. So, uh, so far, so good, all of us. Mm -hmm. Yes, we feel sorry for those uh, fellow members who have not been able to sustain themselves mm -hmm. and have been admitted in the hospitals and stuff like that. Yes, uh, the four members who were admitted to the hospital, uh, they have, yes, they have all uh, been released. They have all been released from the hospital, and they are doing okay, okay now uh, with little medical assistance. Mm -hmm. They are okay, back, back on the track. But uh, uh, we, we do not have any idea. We, we haven't yet discussed whether uh, those members will be again needed back to the other side or not because they have already uh, developed some kind of uh, issues with their health. So that is it. And uh, regarding the shift of the venue, yes, uh, the uh, 
who we are again time and again we are very grateful to the Naga Students Federation to have allowed us to use this venue for the past so many days and uh, yes all out of a very good gesture towards our genuine cause and uh, they have been doing it on a free will so yes we are very very glad and grateful to the Naga Students Federation.